This is going to be very quick. Let's see how well it does. You're going to get access to the Study Sync online textbook. Go to Students, click on Class Link. Hopefully, you do this all the time anyway. Sign in with your stand. The quickest way is always to go to the search box. You're going to type in textbooks. There it is. Click on the blue box once. Click on the blue box twice. And when you get there, you'll see the name of your class here. It's either going to say Pre-AP ELAR 7 or Pre-AP ELAR 8. I want you to then go up here and click on your name and manage account. So there's all your stuff. And then down here where it says account linking, Google linking, I want you to click link to Google account. That way everything we do will go back and forth in our Google classroom. Back to this front page. When you find your class, click on launch. It's going to show you your assignments. Now, what I want you to notice, right now, all three of these are up here. What I would do the first time is that when it's day one, all you'd see is day one. And then for day two, you'd see day one and day two. And then you'd see day one, day two, and day three. When you click these, at the top are the things you have to do for that day. We've got the introduction. We've got the video, we have a vocabulary where you slide things around, and then you have the reading part. The reading part, of course, would be something you do as homework, and you can have it read it for you. You can highlight things and take notes, and that would get you out of day one. Then you go to day two, and in some cases, there's a video. And here, You've got two things. It only says read at the top, but I've got, there's going to be focus questions for you to look at. Identify examples of suspense. When you find it, highlight it, and you can type your note right in there. You don't even have to click annotation. Then day three, same thing. Now this is the third day. The read is still up here so that you have the text. Then you're going to have these quiz questions. Now I always take out some of the quiz questions and that can be challenging and let me show you why. When I go to question four, it says which statement about the girl Adams offers a ride to is best supported by the interaction. You choose your answer. Then when you get to number five, it says, which line from the play most strongly supports the answer to question five? Well, I took out one of the early questions. And so what was question five is now question four. So when you ever see one, they always go in pairs. Question, and then another question that says, what's the best text evidence for the previous question? And it'll give the question number but that question number is going to change. And each time you go, you answer it, you hit save and continue. Answer it, save and continue. And then we get to the think questions. And you notice these are short answer questions. And you can always look at mrskipper.com slash SAR to find how to write a short answer question. It's worth 10 points. And so if you do it perfectly, you get a 10. Save and continue until you're done. And that's how the study sync is going to work. Sometimes there'll be a video, and the video will show people discussing the story or some topic or some element, some uh, plot device, who knows what it is. And that's for you to watch and learn and understand from. If you have questions ever, you know, just ask me and I'll help you.